Hi everyone, today I've got another website walkthrough showing you how to create and build your own personal training website from sign up to completed product. We'll start here on the website.com homepage. First things first, we can take a look at our template page. So we can go here and click on the button that says templates. From here, we can find a template to suit our needs. So what we'll do is go over here and since we're going to be building a personal training website, we'll go to consulting and coaching services. I'll go right here to fitness. And how about I go with this one? And I'll click sign up. And I'll input my domain name. I'm going with lephysiquetraining.com and I'll click check availability. If your domain name is available, you'll see this page here. If not, you'll be prompted as such and you'll need to change your domain name. So I can go ahead and click next. On this page, you'll be asked to choose a plan. We recommend the professional plan. Then you'll need to fill out some login and payment information. So I'll do that now. Once you've filled out all of this information, you can click Create My Account Now. And you'll be taken to this page with two different links. One to view your website now, and one to build your website now. So, because we're going to be building our website, you can go ahead and click Build Your Website Now. Before we can get started, we have a quick tour to run you through a few essential tips for using our website editor. So, I'll run you through that tour right now. The first is the color schemes, and the color schemes are essentially the colors that make up the different elements of your website. The next is it says edit various elements of your page by clicking on the corresponding element. What this means is that you can edit elements of your page simply by clicking on them. Next you have your navigation, so this is how you navigate between all the different pages of your website. And then you have your undo and redo buttons, and those are found right here. And you can undo and redo the changes you've just made. Over here is your publish button, which you'll hit once you're fully satisfied with the edits you've made to your website. And finally, over here we have the help section, where we have links to various videos and tutorials. Alright, so we can get started. The first thing we'll start with is the logo, and we'll need to change the default one. You can see here in the top left, I have my default logo, but I'll change this by clicking on it. And I can go over here to the panel box and choose edit text. And I can change it to the name of my website, which is Le Physique. And I'll change this to personal trainers. And I'll click and drag and bring this over a bit. And over here, this logo right here doesn't really represent a personal training website. So I'll go ahead and click and drag and select all of these boxes. And then click once more and bring up this menu and choose the trash icon to delete all of my selected elements. Now what I can do is go over here to add and choose fancy shape. And you can see I have this star shape right here. Now what I'll do is go over here and I'll choose people in nature in the change shape section and I'll go down and how about I choose this foot shape right here and I can resize it by clicking and dragging on these little dots that surround it right here so I'll just resize it if I hold shift key I'll keep the proportions the same so I'll bring that over and I'll drag it up here and that looks pretty good I've used a fancy shape and text to create a logo for my website Another way I can add a logo for my website is to add an image. So if I click and drag and select all of these elements here and then click on them and click the trash can like I did before to delete the elements, press OK. Now I can add an image. So to do that, go over here to the sidebar, click add image and image. You can see I have an image right here. And here in the panel box, I'll choose change image. Now I can upload my own image files. So I'll click on that and I'll choose my Le Physique PNG which I have right here click use image and there you have it and I can scale it down 
and bring it up here. That looks good. And there you have it. I added my own logo simply by using an image. The next thing we can do is take out this slideshow right here and add an image. So I can click on it and in this little menu here, click the trash icon to remove it. And then I can go like I did before and click add and go over here to image. You can see I have an image right here. And this time I'll click change image. And instead of using an uploaded image, I'll use a stock image. So I'll click stock images and I'll scroll down in the categories and I'll go to the sports section. And how about we use, how about we use this one? That works. But you can see because I added an image, it's now in front of the words here. So to fix that, I can click on this and in this little menu here, I have my options to move it forward and backward on the layers of the page. So if I click send to back, you can see it gets sent to the back of the page. And then I can click bring forward. And there you have it. It's now behind the text, but in front of this strip right here. The next thing we can do on this page is to change the text and put in our own text. So this is simply a matter of selecting a text box and copying from an external document, which I have, and then pasting it to replace the existing text. I'll show you what I mean. So if I click on this text box right here, I can click edit text and highlight all of it. And then I'll open up my own external document. And I'll copy and paste this. And I'll paste that there. And there you have it. I've imported my own text. So I'll go ahead and do that with the rest of the text on the page as well. So there you have it. I've changed the text on the page. Another thing I can do with the logo up here is click on it. And in this menu here, click show on all pages. This will ensure that my logo remains in the same place and visible on all pages across my website. I can also play around with the style of this image. So by clicking on it and heading over here to the panel box, go to the style section and we can play with different presets as well. And these just play with different borders of the image. You can see those reflected right there. This one has sort of a shadow to it. This one has sort of a border to it. And this one has a less shadow to it. So I'll go ahead and use this one. And I'll drag that right there. That looks good. Finally, I'll change these images here at the bottom to fit their respective sections. And there we have it. Now is a good time to talk about color schemes. So the color schemes are essentially the color palette of your website. And you can change the color scheme by going over here and clicking design. And in this color scheme section, you can choose the different color schemes. And you can see they change the different colors of our website. The color schemes are created by our website.com web designers, so they're guaranteed to look good. And I'll just click on the template default. The last thing we can do is change the image of this strip right here. So you can see we have sort of a wood background. How about we go with something that fits a personal training website better? So over here in the panel box, choose change. And I'll go stock images. And I'll go back down to sport. And we'll go with this one here. Also, we want to, in the panel box, choose the option that says fill. And this will fill the image strip with the image. And you can see the image is now in the image strip. The next page we'll be working on is the Why Join Us page. And this will be replacing the chiropractic page. So to change the name of this page, we can go over here to pages in the sidebar. And here we can click on this little gear icon beside the chiropractic page and we'll change the name of it to Why Join Us.
click done and we'll be taken to the page. This page will be another matter of pasting in our own content from an external document much like we did on the first page. So I'll do that now. We can also change the image on this page to something more suiting. So click on it and go to change image. That works. Now is a good time to talk about the text editor. To see the text editor, you can click on a box of text and click edit text in the panel box. And you'll see the text editor appears right here. The text editor provides many useful ways to manipulate our text, such as font type, size, and color. The font styles, which are found right here, are very useful because they're designed by our website.com web designers, and they can help with consistency across web pages. So how those work is I can select some text, and then I can go font styles, and I can choose a different font style. So I'll choose section title, and you can see the change reflected right there. So I'll do that for the rest of these sections as well. I'll also change the font style of the body text. And there you have it. The next page is the training page. And for this, we'll be using our physiotherapy page. So like before, we can go to pages and click on this gear icon. And I'll change it to say training. Click done. And we'll be taken to that page. For this, I'll be moving the elements around as well as pasting in my own content. So like before, I'll simply copy and paste my content from an external document. So I'll do that now. You'll see here that I don't have enough room to fit all of this text here. So to increase the size of my page, I can go down here and click on this where it says content and I can click and drag and bring it down. So I'll bring that down there. That works. And then I'll just change a few of the different font styles. Finally, I'll add an image right here and change this image. And there you have it, our completed training page. The next page is our boot camps page. And this time we'll be changing the name from massage to boot camps. So we'll go to pages and go massage, click settings, and we'll change it to boot camps. This, like the other few pages, will be simply a matter of pasting in my own content. So I'll do that now as well. I'll also change this image here, as well as the name. That looks good. For our next page, we'll be using the About page, and this will be our Pilates and Zumba page. So I'll change the name in the sidebar, like I did with the other pages. and we'll be taken to that page as well. On this page, we'll be deleting all but one of the sections at the bottom of the page. And I'll use this menu to delete all of these selected elements. You can see I have this single section remaining. Now what I'll do is drag this image over to the right side, and I'll change the text around by importing my own text. I'll also be playing around with different sizes for my content section, depending on how much text is on the page.
I'll also change these images. And there you have it for our Pilates and Zumba page. Finally, we have our contact page, and we won't be changing the name for this page. So I can go there by going up here to the Pages section and just choosing Contact. And on this page, you'll see we have a Google Maps app. So we can change the address displayed on that by clicking on it and in the panel box where it says Address, inputting the address of the company. So I'll do that. You can see the display has changed. I'll also change the address over here. So I'll click on that, choose Edit Text, and I'll change the address right here. And that's it. We've completed our website for a personal training company, Le Physique. Just a tip, some personal trainers may want to add a blog page or a calendar page to their website. And that could be done by using the Pages button in the sidebar. So I'll go ahead and click on Preview and just walk you through the website so you can see what it would look like. So I'll click on Home. Here's our home page here. I'll click our Why Join Us page. You can see that here. Our training page. Our boot camps page. Our Pilates and Zumba page. And finally, our contact page. You can see we have our logo right here. So click Close Preview. And if you're fully satisfied with your website, you can go ahead and click on Publish to publish your website. And that's it. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact our support or check out our YouTube tutorials. Thanks for watching.